So, Kevin, it was interesting last hour on Happening Now, uh, Sherry Bustos, a Democrat out of Illinois, was saying, rep Representative, was kind of spinning it that this is an opportunity for Democrats to move forward. Uh, what, what is really the bottom line here for that party? We are in the era of Democrat hype. I mean, everything leading up to the special election said that Trump was going to get his mandate, that they were going to, that the Democrats were going to lose, Republicans were going to win, and I, I liken these guys to uh, woodpeckers in a concrete forest. I mean, they just, <laughs> they just keep going after the same tree, and uh, wow. unfortunately, it's not working. Uh, look, it's it's just been it, it's been overdone. It's been overblown. Uh, as Trump said, he's five and zero. Oh. Uh, 2018 is going to be another mandate. I think it, th this everything that we've seen up to this point proves exactly what November uh, the eighth. Proved uh, last year. It may prove that it's also the end to exit polling. <laughs> <laughs> no question. Uh, we all obviously we saw in the Real Clear Politics that Handel was actually up by maybe a percentage point. Uh, in fact, she won over three per percent of the vote. Yeah. Uh, so I think what it's it's telling you is that for uh, Republicans at this point. I don't want them to get too cozy or too comfortable. Sure, they won by by three points, but that's a district that we should have won by eight points. It's a traditionally Republican mm. district. Even in South Carolina, that district is a nine plus for Republicans, and we only won it by 3.8 percent of the vote. That is that is just a warning sign that I, I for agree. Republicans, while the Democrats don't have a message and they didn't win this election, 2018 is a very different year, and they need to make sure that they have the victories lined up because there are these 23 swing districts. A lot of these are suburban areas, mm -hmm. affluent. Those are the ones that if you get Democrats running on a moderate platform, they, it, they, they're going to be competitive. It's going to be tough. So I, I really Sadies, think we I, have to I, be I agree cautious with you. about I agree this. with you to a point, but I disagree. It, they were close races, but you got to remember, these guys threw $31 million into a race. They can't do that in every race. Uh, South Carolina is a little bit of a, of a mis, you know, that one was a little miscalculation because it was closer than they thought, and they certainly right. didn't put as much effort into it. But even if they put effort into it, it would have been the same outcome. I think that what we're w witnessing here, to your point, uh, Harris, with respect to exit polling and polling in general, all lies with respect to they, they made a comment that uh, Handel was not wanting to run with Trump as her base. The minute that they said Donald Trump was, you know, th she thanked Donald Trump, all hands go up. So I think that, again, the media hype, the leftist hype that Donald Trump doesn't have the mandate is backfiring completely. So even